yesterday we had a very very wonderful time we had uh, an i camp which was in itself wonderful we began by invoking the grace of devi with lalita sahasra naam and archana and after that after having invoked that energy we distributed it to all the people in the form of the medical camp and the educational the pratibha samvar arogya samvardhan and pratibha samvar and of course the i camp was beautiful no doubt but what took away the cup was the pratibha samvardhan and it is so humbling it is really so humbling to see how these children they were like sponge you know sponge if there is water anywhere it will just pick it up it doesn't let that water stay it just picks it up that way they were thirsting for knowledge they were thirsting they were oh it was it was just something to be seen about we had worked at about 15 to maximum 20 children but ended up having 50 children and right from 10 in the morning till 2 or 3 they did not move an inch and when the sevak said that dekho bhai jao kha kar ke aa jao hum rukenge no 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 you are here we will learn first we will eat later Oh, and it was very humbling. We feel, oh, we are having so much uh, problems. We are this, we are that. Look at those children; they have absolutely no clue. Their teachers in the school—it is so horrific and painful to even mention it. Student of class seven, class eight—they did not know. the spelling of monday or what are the months in the year and when it was they looked at the notebook where the homework was given from school or tuition then they found mistakes in what the teacher had written the spelling of monday was wrong or you know these things the teacher themselves were making errors what can we expect from children why all because they are poor they were not lucky enough to be born in a family which can afford high quality education to them no swami ji used to say that till that time a child is 14 15 the child is the responsibility of the society and that society is delegate the society delegates that responsibility to the parents and if the parents are not able to take care of it then the society must step in and it is the dharma of a sanyasin to take care of the society so where society is unable to step in that is where a sanyasi should step in and that is why at the age of 70 swami ji went into a remote village which had no signs of the 21st century but that is where he went and that is where he created another revolution and it is only befitting that we should try and emulate him as a tribute to him on the occasion of his birth centenary year and that is what we are doing as a part of the satyam shatabdi yoga yag a series of activities spiritual social educational and welfare all sorts of activities 
And these are activities which are not done in charity, mind you. No, this is not charity. Please be clear on that. This is our sadhana. In the, just in the same way as in Kanya Puja, you invoke the Divine Mother in the form which is in front of you, the small Devi. And then you worship her and receive the blessings. In the same way, Swamiji used to say, practical Kanya Puja should be done. Every person, that patient, that child has got a spark of divine in it. And we make the offerings. Instead of saying Dhupam Samarpayami, Deepam Samarpayami, Nevedyam Samarpayami, Akshatam Samarpayami, you say school booksam Samarpayami, school tresam Samarpayami, medicinam Samarpayami, cataract op operationam Samarpayami, educationam Samarpayami, whatever. That is the form. It is our sadhana. It is not charity. Swamiji always said, charity is the mother of poverty. So never do charity. But we have to take care of those children. Once they are 15, 16, they can stand on their own feet. But till that time, providing them proper education, providing them proper samskaras is the duty of the society. And that is what Swamiji showed. Doing our social duty, but in a manner which improves the spiritual quality of the individual. That is something which Swamiji brought about. And yesterday, I am so very happy to share that we began in a very humble and small manner with this Pratibha Samvardhan activity. And it just brought tears to the eyes because there is a saying, Sat Patri Dan. In Gita also it is mentioned, whenever you want to give to somebody, you have to give to the proper person, in the proper time, in the proper manner. Desha Kala Vastu. That is important. And here it happened so spontaneously. And they were the best recipients because they were wanting it. I was telling in the beginning, somebody walked in to pick up something else and they was just standing to have a look. And a couple of children rushed to him, said, Hum ko bhi na. What does that mean? They have no opportunity. They are wanting to study. They want to learn. But there is no opportunity. Society has not given them. They go to schools. Some of the People who are working as maids, working as uh, ayahs, working as security staff, they work double time to ensure that these children are educated. But what does the education department do? They are not even giving proper education to these children. That is the sad light. And it is our good fortune that we have got this opportunity to make a difference in somebody's life. That is our offering to the divine through these children in the manner which Gurudev taught. Everything is acceptable to God. God does not need the fruits and the flowers and the mantras. God needs the feeling from your heart. In Bhagavad Gita, he has said, Patram, Pushpam, Phalam, Toyam, Yome Bhaktya Prayachati. Leaves, flowers, fruits, and if nothing is there, even water, whatever the devotee offers to me, I accept when it is offered with Shraddha. So, instead of offering all those things, at the end of Lalita Sahasrana, we to all the patients, we gave a hygiene kit and a bag of nutrition. And that was the prasad. We 
whenever we do archana we put some prasad some peda some laddu some this some that we put this as the prasad then that was given and mixed with all the kits and that was distributed to people so that the blessings of the divine reach their lives and it was a very touching and momentous occasion hari om tat sat namo narayan 